आजादी का अमृत महोत्सव आजादी का सफर विद ए आई आर न्यूज बर्थ ऑफ अ नेशन इंडिया ग्लोरियस फ्रीडम स्ट्रगल इज वन ऑफ द ग्रेटेस्ट स्ट्रगल द मॉडर्न वर्ल्ड हैज एवर विटनेस्ड ए आई आर न्यूज ब्रिंग्स यू अ ग्लिम्स ऑफ द स्ट्रगल एवरी डे ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट ऑफ नवम्बर इज द बर्थ एनिवर्सरी ऑफ द ग्रेट फ्रीडम फाइटर रेवोल्यूशनरी एंड पोएट केसरी सिंह बारहट He was born on November the 21st 1872 in Shahpura Rajasthan. Kesari wrote extensively on the theme of nationalism and independence. From 1891 Kesari Singh started working in the service of Maharana of Mewar along with his father Krishna Singh Barhat. Due to increasing political interference of the British in the administration, Kesari Singh left the service in 1893. He believed that by organizing common soldiers, Rajputs, Charans and other martial races of Rajputana to take up arms, Rajputana would become free from the British rule and this way revolution would spread to the rest of India. He came into contact with revolutionaries like Ras Bihari Bose and Sachindranath Sanyal. Kesari Singh became a part of the revolutionary party in 1910 Kesari Singh established Veer Bharat Sabha he got involved in this work at the beginning of the world war 1 to prepare for the armed revolution he sent a parcel of cartridges to the revolutionaries of banaras and contacted the soldiers of princely states and the british army Kesari Singh was arrested by the British government in Shahpura on 21st of March 1914 and was sent to Hazaribagh Central Jail in Bihar. After his release in April 1920, Kesari Singh went to Vardha where he started a weekly newspaper Rajasthan Kesari. In 1919, Thakur Kesari Singh Barhat met Gandhi ji and on his advice established Rajasthan Seva Sangh at Vardha. Next year it was shifted to Ajmer. Thakur Kesari Singh Barhat breathed his last on August the 14th 1941. 21st of November is also the death anniversary of the revolutionary freedom fighter, journalist and legislator Deshbandhu Gupta. Born as Ratiram Gupta in 1901 in Panipat. He was given the title Deshbandhu by Swami Shraddhanand and Mahatma Gandhi. He was a member of the Arya Samaj. During his teenage years, he would often take to the streets during protests. After joining the Indian National Congress, he grew closer to the top brass of the party, including Lala Lajpat Rai and Mahatma Gandhi. Lala Lajpat Rai assigned him the task of organizing Congress committees in Karnal. Gupta was a member of the Constituent Assembly. He was a staunch defender of the free press and an advocate for assembly status of the national capital of Delhi. He started the Rozana Tej newspaper with Swami Shraddhanand. Together with veteran journalist Ramnath Goenka, they bought the Indian News Chronicle in Chennai. Gupta passed away on 21st of November 1951. After his death, Ramnath Goenka renamed the newspaper as The Indian Express. It was also on 21st November in the year 1909 freedom fighter Anant Lakshman Kanhere shot dead the British officer and collector of Nashik AMT Jackson who was suspected to be spying on the activities of Abhinav Bharat Society Anant Kanhere belonged to Abhinav Bharat Society people in Nashik arranged a farewell for Jackson at Vijayanand Theater and staged a drama in his honor After Jackson had arrived to see the play Anant Lakshman Kanhere jumped in front of him and fired four bullets at him Jackson died immediately Anant Kanhere decided to commit suicide by taking poison to avoid capture however he couldn't kill himself as he was captured by the police this sensational killing is known as Nashik conspiracy case 
27 members of the Abhinav Bharat Society were convicted and punished. Anand Kanheri was prosecuted by the Bombay High Court and hanged in the Thani prison on 19th of April 1910. We salute the bravery of this freedom struggle hero who attained martyrdom at the age of 18. That brings us to the end of this episode of Azadi Ka Safar with AIR News. See you in the next episode tomorrow.